Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. In this video, I want to review the Blue Snowball Microphone. This is a $99 microphone that comes in gloss black, brushed aluminum, and white. And it's by made by Blue Microphone. Now, if you didn't know, Blue Microphone makes pro-level audio, and they've, in the industry, innovated several times in that higher echelon of audio equipment. So, the Blue Microphone, which is USB, has been compared to higher level devices and devices that cost a lot more in its time on the market and it's been on the market for quite a while and it's still you know one of the big brothers in terms of things that are always compared to because the snowball really does a great job for what it is again a ninety nine dollar microphone so this is advertised for musicians and podcasters alike and has a lot of features that you're not going to see on standard ninety nine dollar microphones but there is a big bummer uh, that I'd like to get to in a second. So let's check out the design first. So the spherical head is actually four inches wide in diameter, so it's not a very uh, colossal thing, but it also is pretty big in your hand. Now, it is pretty light, and it actually is pretty simple as well. It doesn't have a lot of choices on the front. You have a red light here. That's when it's connected to the computer. And you just have a pretty simple old time look and finish on the front which I do like. If we look on the back here this is where we have most of it. You have one, two, and three and those are for different recording modes but unfortunately they're not labeled on here so when you're first starting out you're not going to remember what modes these are so you're going to have to consult your user manual. And the only other port on here is this metal enforced USB port. There's no other inputs. On the bottom here, this is just for the tripod adapter that it comes with. So I'm a little disappointed that there was no additional input or output. Maybe you wanted to have a line out so you could hear, or a micro or a headphone jack so you could listen to what's being recorded, or something of that nature. It's a pretty simple layout, but it doesn't really have those extra features. But I, I suppose the cost of $99, uh, you don't really need all those extra things. Now, this again, I said it is USB plug-and-play, so it will work on Mac, Windows, or Linux. However, it depends software by, or application by application, I should say, the support. I've had applications where this works perfectly. I've had applications such as Audacity on my Mac where I haven't been able to get it to recognize the Snowball as an input. So even though I use it all the time when I'm doing screencasts with ScreenFlow and it works perfectly fine and, and in my Mac uh, control panel, I can see it show up as an input. I couldn't get Audacity to work with it. That may just be an issue with all external mics, but that's kind of a bummer that it doesn't work with everything. Now it also comes with an adjustable tripod, which I mentioned here. If I just bring it into the frame. It's pretty simple. It has these legs that close up like this for transport. So it's really small when you're transporting it. But then when you want to have it you know, hold the device, you just open them up and it fits nicely on here on your table it feels pretty sturdy some people have reported that it's not that great I've never had any problems with it falling or tipping and so there's nothing really to say about that it's a nice brushed aluminum finish and what's nice about it one of the reasons why I really like it is it's adjustable so depending on you know what angle you're at or what you're, where you're sitting it's really easy to change so it can go from actually 6.5 inches and then you can just unscrew it a little bit here, loosen it up, and then it goes all the way down to 5 inches, and you can tighten that up, and then it doesn't move anymore. So depending on the height that you need, you know, you can get it. And on the top, you just have your threads for the bottom of the Snowball microphone. So everything uh, that they send you, physical-wise or aesthetically, it all is pretty solid. The build construction on all of the products is pretty good. Nothing wobbles, nothing seems low or cheap, even though it's only $99. So what's interesting about this microphone is it doesn't have one actual mic inside of it to pick up your voice or whatever thing you're recording. It actually has two microphone capsules. This allows for three recording modes, which I mentioned before. One of them is omnidirectional, so it'll record from in all directions of the sphere, which you'd think would make this great to pop in the middle of a multi-person interview, and you could get great results. But that's not the case, unfortunately, and I'll tell you why in a second. Now, the other two modes are two cardioid modes, one standard and one 10 decibel gain, and essentially that's just for right in front of the microphone, 
just when you're talking to it. So really, that mode is for speech. And speech is really the primary you know, reason why I use this particular microphone. Now, what, the reason why I said this isn't going to be good for your multi-person interviews, again, is because even though it has two microphones on the inside, I didn't mention a stereo recording mode, and it doesn't. It records in mono only, which is kind of a big disappointment, especially considering it already has the two microphones on the inside, so why couldn't it record in stereo? That's just a problem that I found with it. For the tech specs, I guess, digital output is set to 44.1 kilohertz, 16-bit. But how does it sound? What is the actual sound quality? And just a disclaimer, this video is not being recorded, the audio is not being recorded with the snowball. Obviously, it's you know, not plugged in, it's not magic, so just the Canon Vixia audio. But how does it actually sound? I, again, use this in a lot of screencasts, so essentially all of my screencasts you can check out for an audio sample of what this sounds like. But I think it sounds really good in that cardioid mode. I really only use this in that cardio cardioid mode, so omnidirectional definitely isn't as good. But there's little to no hiss when you're recording, it has a wide dynamic range, and it has pretty accurate sound. So really, I would say when you're hearing me now, it's not exactly the way I sound in person, but when I'm recording with this microphone, it's pretty much as close to uh, anything that I've heard you know, on the computer or recorded that actually sounds the way I sound. So I was really impressed with the sound quality, and really you're buying this for sound quality, and it does a pretty good job. Again, I use it for screencasts, and I'm really impressed with the audio. You can go ahead and use it for screencasts too. It's become a perennial powerhouse for, you know, small podcasts or just like myself, just stuff people that, you know, do it at their homes for fun. So if you're in the market, I would definitely recommend this. But sound isn't as great in, um, you know, that omnidirectional mode. It's not as good with multiple audio sources. So again, it's not for multi-person interviews, multi-person podcasts, and I wish it was. It's spherical, it already has omnidirectional. If you could just put this in the middle of a two, three, four-person interview, it would work great, but it doesn't. Um, and it's also not for natural recording, so if you're trying to catch, capture, you know, natural sounds, nature, it's not, this isn't what you're looking for. You're going to want to look for a mic that supports stereo recording. So again, this is the Blue Snowball microphone that was sent to me for a review from Blue Microphones, which is a perennial innovator in the professional audio market. The audio sounds great when you're using this. If you're in the market for something, for just single person speech, I really recommend this. Podcasting is great with this. If you want to record maybe an instrument and you just place it right in front of, say, a guitar, a piano, or whatever you have, this does a great job. And it's pretty compact as well. You can fold it all up here. It's only 5.1 inches long when it's not extended. And this isn't too bad to throw in the, you know, throw in a bag or in the back of your car or whatever you have. Granted, you will have a USB, but USB is pretty standard and doesn't take up a lot of space. So, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching this review. Again, if you want an audio sample of this, check out one of my screencasts. That will give you a pretty good representation of what it sounds like. Thanks for watching. Enjoy this audio product if you decide to check it out, and have a nice day.